Hello. Hi, Becca. Hi, how are you? You look so familiar. My name's Jake. From Minneapolis. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't I sure if you. I wasn't sure you. if you'd remember me. Oh my God! No, hi. This you look, is You look crazy. so pretty. Thank you. I'll see you inside. All right. Good to see you again. Good to see you. What the heck? I definitely didn't expect to see anyone I semi knew coming out of the limo. Oh, what a small world. Jake is an acquaintance. I've met him on multiple occasions, and so now, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there she is. Uh -oh. Hey guys. Jake, can I grab you for a second? Please? Sure. Jake is from Minnesota, and we run in the same group of friends, and we've hung out multiple times. Come sit by the warm. Sure. But he's never shown any interest in me up until now, so I want to know exactly why he's here. Well, it's so good to see you. Me too. I can't believe we're here. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, when I saw you, I was like, wait, what? Is he here for me, or what is he doing here? Because so we've hung out a couple times in the same circle, and so and there was just, like, never really any interest. I remember meeting you at the Christmas party. Well, we met before that. I a couple honest times. to God, don't remember that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you don't hold that against me. No, and I and I don't. I just, you know, at the end of the day, like I'm here to find a partner for life, um, and I just want to make sure that that person is on the same page as me and like wants the same things, and that every decision and everything that I do is not wasting anyone's time. I mean it when I say I'm really thankful to be here, and I'm excited to get to know you. Yeah. You. And I know that you say that. I just, I'm not 100% comfortable with just knowing that we've met multiple times in the past, and just not really having do any you, do you any know? interest. Do you, do, you, do you know that I have one conscious recollection of meeting you? Yeah, no, and I, I get that, but we have met time, many times before. And I think I would just constantly question your intentions here. And, um, and I, I, I so appreciate you coming here. But I know what it feels like to have somebody question where they're at in a relationship with me. And I don't want to do that same thing that was done to me. I just need to follow what I feel. Did you and not feel anything towards me if you remember meeting me? No, and I do, and I, I definitely remember I was interested, but I just think that because we did meet and there wasn't anything done on either of our ends, I just, I don't know if I necessarily see a future. This is the first conversation that I've had to have sending somebody home, and it's not easy, but I don't want to waste your time, and I just don't know if I see it at the end. This is hard for a lot of reasons, but there's a few things that you need to know, and I can't leave here without getting that off my chest. Yeah. I don't know what you're hanging on to from prior to the Christmas party that I remember, but it sounds like you might be hanging on to a different me when I was at a little different point in my life. Yeah. And I wanted you to know that I've had a very transformative year. I'm a new Jake. Put it this way, if you and I walked into a bar in Minneapolis tomorrow, both single, I think it would pan out differently. And if you... Yeah, but it's just, we've met multiple times and they're just, on either end, it was just kind of nothing, which is totally fine. And not everyone that you meet in life, you're gonna click with. And so for me, I'm just gonna keep saying, like, I don't wanna waste your time, my time, anyone else's time. That's sad to hear, but you gotta follow your heart. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to force that. It's hard to hear. <sighs> but I respect how you feel? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. Let me walk you out. I know it's tough. My fear coming into this was that I would fall for somebody that didn't reciprocate the same feeling. I want to know that somebody is here for me, and honestly, I don't think he is here for me. <laughs> she might be sending him home. Probably. She looked pissed off. Thank you. I don't get it. I, I came here with an open mind and an open heart to find out if there could be a future between Becca and I. And she looked at me and was like, that's very nice, thank you.
I believe in love. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in love. Ask anybody who knows me. I'm one of the most romantic people there is.